Well, this new school is a collaboration between the Clark County School District and St. Jude's, and while it's still under construction, it has already hired a full team of licensed professionals to help out these kids. Tucked inside the St. Jude's Ranch for Children's Healing Center in Boulder City. We had a dream of creating a place like this. A new school looking to help child sex trafficking victims heal their unimaginable trauma could soon open its doors. The entire campus is really primed to, to help young people feel safe, comfortable, where they can let their guard down and start to open themselves up to the possibilities of how life could look different. Christina Vela is the CEO at St. Jude's Ranch for Children. She tells me the new school will have a similar curriculum to other CCSD campuses that will also offer art and music therapy, yoga, journaling, and other trauma-sensitive services. They are our future, and so we have to disrupt their experiences so that they can live a future of being thriving members of society, not continually exploited and victimized year after year. Bella says sex trafficking is a hidden form of violence that continues to grow in our valley. According to a report from the Nevada Department of Health and Human Services, in the first six months of 2020, LVMPD identified 59 minor sex trafficking victims. Amy Manning, the new principal at the school, says a victim's trauma makes it a challenge for them to focus on school. They have been so traumatized, they're going to need some extra love and support, so we want to make sure that we're providing them every opportunity to make sure that they're successful. She tells me the Department of Family Services will recommend possible victims to the school and work with St. Jude's to decide what grade to place a child in. She says around 60 students from grades 6 through 12 will be able to attend the new school and will also have the opportunity to live there. St. Jude's idea was to make it one big neighborhood community. Um, they won't have to be transported to school. We're right here, which gives us the opportunity to have a later start time, which research shows is really great for kids. Manning says she hopes to be a positive light for these kids and says the school could open its doors by the end of October. For now, reporting from Las Vegas, Giovanni Carrillo.